Good morning YouTube, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you're new here, hi my name is Kushi and this is my YouTube. As you can tell by this video I am going to be doing a pack with me type video so there's a lot of stuff that goes into packing for these types of competitions. All competitions are a little bit different, obviously duration, like the Arnold's is different to Worlds, um, the Arnold's is different to Giants Live, one day show. And um, yeah, the way we pack for World's Strongest Man has to be very, in my opinion, very thorough. There's a lot of different things that um, different competitions have or don't have. For example, the Arnold's provide all the athletes with chalk. Um, Worlds don't provide that. So you don't want to be skimping and scraping off other athletes. You'd rather just have your own chalk, which I'll go into a little bit later. But yeah, every competition is different. So you have to pack accordingly. This year is really exciting because we have Luke's dad, Ben, coming out with us, which I'm so excited for. Normally, well, when Luke's dad comes out, he pretty much just ditched us the last time. Uh, he watched us from afar, but he just fit in with all the crew. So he was like driving the forklift, helping move the stones and doing all that stuff. Um, I actually remember one time, I think it was like the second morning, maybe the third morning, I saved him a seat next to us at the breakfast table, so he come in and then he was like, no, no, I'm going to go get my own table with the lads. <laughs> so he just completely ditched us, which was actually quite perfect, so then we didn't have to worry about him. He was quite happy in his own little crew. So, um, yeah, so really excited to have him out. The Mulligans, they're coming out as per usual. Uh, I think I've said this like a million times, but the Mulligans are the ones that are filming a documentary on the boys, which they have done so for the last three years or so maybe coming into the fourth year now. So that documentary is going to be absolutely epic. I can't wait for it to finally come out. And also Dan Hipkiss, which is um, the boys' trainer, they're coming out. And uh, they're coming out. He's coming out. And um, yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully there's going to be lots of uh, Scottish supporters there. That'll be really fun. And um, I'm really excited for this one. The more... The days go on, um, we're leaving in a couple of days, so the more the days go on, the more nerves that I get. I'm really excited for it to start, but I'm also really excited for it to end. I think every strongman wife, strongman girlfriend, strongman partner, husband, um, they understand the feelings that you go through. So I'm really excited to go out and see all the women there. Um, I'm excited because Adam Bishop's fiance, Amy, she's coming out this year, which is exciting. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm trying to <coughs> talk about the excitements rather than the actual competition. Because when the competition starts, which is a good few days in, um, that's when things get a bit tense, I guess. Um, we fly out on the Saturday. I don't think the competition starts to the Wednesday. So those four days are pretty relaxed, pretty chilled. But also you have to do your medicals, your interviews, your media stuff. And... Um, it's quite busy actually, um, but also very calm and chilled and stuff. Luke's the type of person where if he's not doing what he has to do, then he'll be either in the room, he'll just like to start getting in that kind of zone, I guess, for the competition. Um, and I'll just kind of be like, not sitting there, but just trying to be of service. But um Say of services are from some sort of slave. <laughs> I will be over the next 10 days. <laughs> how you pack for the Arnold Classic wouldn't be the same as how you pack for uh, Worlds. For example, um, Arnold's provide you with all the chalk and stuff that you need. Um, Worlds don't provide that. That's my alarm to get ready for my client. Um, yeah, so Worlds don't provide you with chalk, so you have to supply that. You don't want to be... Um, like, you know, trying to grab stuff of other people, you'd rather just have it. So, yeah, just, just little things like that, that um, you need to be prepped for uh, going into different competitions. I personally take the responsibility of getting all the little things set because if Luke asks me for something and if he needs something, it could be really small, like a pair of scissors or some tape or liquid chalk rather than um, dry chalk. And if I don't have that, I feel like I'm unprepared and I feel that I've not failed because that's a bit extreme, but I feel responsible. So when you're, well, for me, if I'm going out there to support Luke, I should have everything that he doesn't need to think about 
outside of the events that he's doing. So all he needs to focus on is doing event one, doing event two. I can worry about his knee sleeves, his chalk, the water, the electrolytes, um, timing the squares bars that he has to have. Um, you know, it has to be so calculated by the time that he goes out to do an event. Um, luckily, I think his nutritionist, Nathan, is going out there um, and he'll keep me right. But there's so many things that actually go into a competition that I think you just have to learn over time. It took me a long time to learn, but um, once you kind of get it, it's kind of like clockwork. But prepping, I'm always like, I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. Just checking the time. My client's about to come in, so I don't think I'm going to have time to show you just now. But I will come back after my client and show you all the things that I have prepped so far. So that is me just done with my client. You can probably see the little like magnifying glasses marks on my nose. So hopefully that will um, go in a little bit of time. But um, I just thought I would show you little bits and pieces that I've been getting together over the last four days. Probably could have done it in a day, but the way I do it is just collectively over time. Um, I always have a list. Um, I have a list that I've had for the last whatever, how many World's Strongest Man. So it'd be helpful if I showed you on camera. So it's just like a little list that I always add on to or take off. And then I just checklist that off um, as we go on. So I thought I'd show you our table just rammed, packed with like absolute rubbish. That's literally what our table looks like. Um, so yeah, very messy just now. Um, first things first, anytime we go away somewhere outside of the country, I always take an extension cable with me. Um, I can't remember who told me, but um, rather than taking like a million adapters, just take one adapter and then plug your extension cable in and then you can just use all the stuff that you'd normally use. So um, that is literally one of my like biggest tips for when you go flying. Um, I find that very, very helpful. So. We have our passports, obviously we just leave them out on the table. Um, we've now got air tags, and these are quite new actually. Um, just put them on our suitcase, that's pretty standard, I think a lot of people do that. But normally what Luke will do, well what both the boys will do, I think Tom does it. Um, one year the airline lost Tom's luggage, so he had to compete with literally bits of buzz from other people. Tom's a size 17, like UK feet. So we actually got shoes specially made, brought in, thankfully. But the stress and stuff that has that caused is um, something that need, no one wants to have. So I think it's quite common with even people coming to the UK. Obviously, your luggage gets lost, and that's what people pack their um, strongman equipment in. So now going forward, the boys always carry, um, well, no, Luke especially, he always carries his strongman equipment in his carry-on, so it's always with him at all times. So um, yeah, these are great to have. Um, obviously, touch wood, your luggage is always safe, but um, if worst comes to worst, they have their equipment that you can't just go out and buy in the shops. So that's the air tags. Um, I just got this for me because I'm gonna be vlogging daily when we're out there. I'm also going to be helping out on the boys channel, which is very weird. <laughs> I've actually got like a job out there, which is quite cool. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'll be vlogging daily. So make sure you keep up with my little videos. Um, I showed you my other video. This is just um, chalk. I've got four blocks in total. Like I said before, uh, welds don't provide you with chalk. So we have to supply that ourselves. Got loose chalk. Also got some liquid chalk from my protein. And then this come through the post yesterday. It is glove glue. It's basically like pre-tacky. So you stick that on your arms for, for doing the Atlas stones. And this was really helpful last year. I got this off Amazon. So literally just typed in glove glue. And um, yeah, that was quite helpful. Luke really liked that. So just added that to my little list. Um, sweat block anti anti perspirant wipes. Um, they're really good. Rehydration stuff. Um, don't know if Luke got sent these or he bought these, but these are from Revival. Uh, these are just little bits. And then got this. Bought this online a couple years ago. It's it's okay. It's basically just like a, a neck fan. You just turn it on 
got a free set and then you just put it around your neck and then just cold air comes out. It's okay, I wouldn't say Luke always uses it, but um, just handy to have if you wanted it, so I always pack that. This is a must, a uh, big fan. This is by Ryobi and um, I've also got the charger and the plug for it as well to charge the battery. The fan is a must. Um, that's just non-negotiable to take to World's Strongest Man. World's Strongest Man is always in a hot country. It's always outside. So the humidity, the heat, and um, yeah, that's definitely a must. This come through the post today. I'm pretty sure I think it's gloves. And it is. So it is basically American football gloves. So basically when you do the uh, fingers, fingers, just to help you not be as sweaty. And they really helped Luke, not last year, whenever the last event was when they had that. So I've got two pairs of these, one for Luke, one for Tom. And got paracetamol, ibuprofen, because obviously the boys are going to be very sore. Um, got a shaker, my protein shaker for pre-workout creatine. Obviously going to take some my protein pre-workout and my protein, my protein creatine. That was a little tongue twister. So yeah, I'm going to take that. And um, there's a few other bits. That's a text in. There's a few other bits that I need to get today, like, like Luke's sunglasses, so his normal sunglasses that just you can take anywhere, and then his pit vipers, which he normally uses to wear the log. Normally wears to do the log, so I need to get those. Um, his mouth guard, his massage gun, and um, yeah, this is basically all the stuff that well, some of the stuff that we would take. Luke also has his gym bag that he'll take home from the gym uh, probably today or tomorrow because we are leaving in two days. We've got stuff like sun cream, um, like a freeze cooling spray. And um, I have little like, notes written everywhere. We have like two whiteboards in the kitchen, one to have the countdown of any competition that's on. Um, so I've got little bits written on there, like things I need to checklist off. Um, and there's basically all the media equipment because i'm now a media person um cameras batteries chargers and all that kind of stuff but other than that it's just closed to pack and that is it for the strongman stuff but what i need to do is go get some new t-shirts and what better way to get some t-shirts than going to my husband's shop let's see who's working today Hello, darling. <laughs> Come to buy and not pay for some t-shirts because I'm going on a holiday in two days. I can steal some things. Pretty much. <laughs> Is there anything that you'd recommend? Everything. 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 Yeah. Oh, Spicy t-shirt. Dad was Dad was in like literally twenty minutes ago. Was he? Seeing yeah, all the stuff. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go get Luke's credit card and pay for all of this stuff then. <laughs> So many options to choose from. So let's have a look. What's that? Legacy, the original, spicy, water bottles, socks, pink t shirts, white t shirts. I think I'm gonna get a little pink silver t shirt and an extra large white t-shirt so I can wear that oversized. I'm hoping it's going to be oversized because I have put a little bit of weight. And then, what else do we want? What should I get? I have your credit card. <laughs> going to get some socks, two pairs of those. And I think that is about it. Get the original spicy t shirt. That is me. So, just back from the Stoltman shop, got all my little bits. That's probably 
all that I'm going to be wearing is Stoltman this and Stoltman that. I do actually need to start packing for myself now that I've got the majority of like Luke's bits sorted. There is a few things I didn't show you that I need to get like um, like scissors. It's always handy to have scissors because in general it's cutting off Luke's sleeves for um, an event. Also be good to get some sort of tape like duct tape. Um, sometimes if Luke decides to do the stones in his top we'll have to duct tape it into his shorts so it doesn't come up. Just little bits and bobs like that. I hope that this gave you a little bit of an insight of what we need to pack and how I try and mess, messily, messily organise things. Um, I need to pack the majority of things today because we are flying within 48 hours and I'm working all day tomorrow so I won't have a chance to really pack then. So I'm just going to do that. It is such a lovely day in the Highlands. I'm sure you can see it's our lovely bedroom. I don't know why I said like that, bit of a weirdo. Yeah, the nerves are um, starting to kick in. Um, I'm getting a bit like, what's the word? Whatever that word is, I'm just getting a bit like that. Getting a bit excited, start mumbling my words. Um, we have a few, blah, blah, blah. see, we have a few things to do today, like go see some family before we head off and uh, just finish off the rest of the packing. So that is pretty much it. I'm actually going to start packing a few things for myself and um, yeah, it's getting exciting now. So many different nerves that go into this type of thing and it's something that only you'll experience um, if you're going through it yourself. So I hope this gave you guys a bit of an insight to what goes on behind closed doors or what goes on before a competition. Um, so over the next 48 hours it'll be... Hey! Yeah, you? Say hi. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in the Barry's room. I'm going to do daily vlogs, so please keep updated on my channel with that. And stay tuned for my giveaway. Or, I don't know if my giveaway video has been posted, but yeah. If it hasn't, stay tuned for it. If it has, go check the other video out to see what the giveaway is. And we will see you at World's Strongest Man. Bye.